very short notice to appear before you. And uh, I, I wait between asking for indulgence to appear at another time because I'm traveling out of the country. But uh, I called your clerk and negotiated with your clerk that I made, make a Zoom appearance because I did not want to create an impression that uh, I'm trying to evade responsibility and accountability. Secondly, also, your, your letter uh, itself at paragraph 3 states that the decision that was made on these campuses was a government decision. It was not a personal decision. And therefore, given that we are in a circumstance where I am not only no longer the minister, but I have access to nothing in terms of records and so on, my response to you is going to be based on recollections that I have, given that some of these are events that took place about uh, six years ago. Uh, that said, uh, Honorable Chair and members of the committee, I would like to set the record straight. First, I think it is not accurate to say that we are authorized. The government authorized or well, the government may have allowed the universities to uh, operate satellite campuses. I will need to look through the files because by the time I was uh, moved to the Ministry of Education in November 2015, the work of establishing these campuses was already underway. They were not established while I was Minister of uh, the Cabinet Secretary for Education. The work of establishing them was underway uh, by the time I moved to the, to, to the Ministry. So it is not accurate to say that I authorized but I will not, uh, you know, disown my colleagues at the ministry. The government, the institutions involved must have done what they ought to, 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 to do in that particular respect. On the closure of the canvases, again, it is important to set the record straight and have the facts as they are.